Northwest, I'm Eli Laurent. And I'm Lexi Barkowski. Today is March 6th. And welcome back to this week's Cougar, Cougar Roundup. <laughs> Lexi, what was that for? Hi, my name is Zach Dolby. I'm Jacob Morris. What's my name? What should my name be? <laughs> Ethan Johnson. Right, let's go with Ethan Johnson. Uh, we're the Assassin's uh, finalists. I got Sophia Pope at her soccer practice, and then I got Maya Sprague the night before she took me to Sweetheart, and then I got Jillian Meister at Freddy's. Because you killed Jillian? She, yeah. Oh, because. Wow. Uh, she didn't know her snap maps were on. Oh. <laughs> I got, for my first kill, Matt Steinmetz um, outside of a bowling meet. Um, I laid on the ground for a long time watching the front door. <laughs> that was rough. My elbows hurt. Um, and then my second kill was uh, Natalie Hole. <laughs> and um, I got her just outside of her house. Um, I think it was six hours before the deadline for round two. Yeah, Callan <laughs> Taylor. Right. Sorry, I was blanking. Um, yeah, that one was a that one was an adventure. Um, Did you work with Audrey with that one? No, I worked with Mason Patterson. We um, went through someone's backyard, walked through the woods, and then we ended up at Lake Quivira. And then um, we were waiting for Callan to get back from his basketball game, mm -hmm. and Audrey showed up and she tried to get me, but um, she shot over me. Uh, I have Allie Banks. After rehearsal, uh, Michael Lammers like the like right before the deadline, he just kind of accepted it. Mm. Uh, and then I got Mason Patterson when he was trying to. We were both trying to kill Audrey Bennett at volleyball, and he got out. And you guys were trying to bait me. You yeah, said, yeah. and he went behind a dumpster, and I drove my car up next to it and trapped him inside. <laughs> so and then I shot him. Uh, and then I got Audrey after volleyball. And then uh, Reese after a family dinner. All right, so what are the game plans? Who's gonna win this thing? Probably Zach. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Depends on what time you think it's home tonight, I guess. <laughs> and then Jacob, if uh, I can jam his garage door, then he'll be dead. But yeah. Other than that, I mean, probably uh, Ethan has the most kills other than that. I mean, you could probably win. It's a possibility. If you kill, if, if you kill <laughs> Ethan, and then you kill me in Oklahoma, yeah, we'll be fine. Last week was the third CCC Cappuccino Day. If you missed it, that's okay. We have one more left of the year, and remember that the money helps someone in need. Let's review how last week's Cappuccino Day went. <laughs> at six o'clock and um, we have to set up the tables and um, we get the hot water going through the kitchen and we make the drinks and set out all the cookies. So it's a lot of work before people start to get to school. Cappuccino day is fourth through first hour, uh, four times a year. I really like seeing how excited people get about raising money for a family in need. Um, I think that's really cool. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That we're the best twins in Northwest? Yeah. Three, two, one. Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Dang it! We got, hey, we got close that time. Hey, we're close. Really close. We're getting closer. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lemon meringue pop. Oh my god! <laughs> I was 
Tiramisu. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say tiramisu because that's what you make. What even is that? Lemon red flag. Three, two, one. Rugby. Rugby. Oh my God! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my God. Three, two, one. Bowling. Bowling. Yes. Okay, it's so we're like one that we do. So like. Hey. Three, two, one. Goldfish. Gosh. Okay, it's okay. We're fine. <laughs> Three, two, one. Beige. Blue. Why did you say beige? <laughs> <laughs> like in softball or baseball, you have a bat. Like softball bat? Like yes. <laughs> we got that right. <laughs> or like bat the animal. Bat the. Bat. Oh, I forgot. No. Like where you put money in? What? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what other? <laughs> On your face. <laughs> That's my jacket. There are a lot of teachers here at Northwest that have done amazing things in and out of school. Mr. Shirley is one of those teachers. Let's go to Abby, who is interviewing him now. Well, before I started teaching forensic science, I was already teaching biology here, and forensic science got started by being a signature program that the district was offering. They were looking for someone to teach it at the in the building, and I was already here and available. Plus I had a little bit of experience in law enforcement before, so I was kind of one of the candidates. Yeah, uh, right before teaching actually, I was a 911 operator for Crawford County down right near Pittsburgh, Kansas. And I did that for two years while I was going to school for education at the time. And I really enjoyed it. It was doing mostly night shift. I did 911 dispatching for police, fire, and EMS, and had some really crazy calls. Some of the calls that you get, just getting them to say a sentence of what is happening instead of sputtering out a thousand irrelevant things about what they did that morning to set up the whole what story for us, instead of saying like, this is the emergency that's actually happening now. I think dispatching before becoming a forensic science teacher made me comfortable enough to be a forensic science teacher. I would want to know something about the subject matter before I start to try to teach it. I want to want to start teaching pottery, for example, because I have no clue what I'm doing there. But as someone who's been involved in law enforcement before, at least I kind of understand the premise and what you can and can't do pretty well. Forensic science is for any student who would want a science credit. If you would love a if you love a career in forensic science, that this is the perfect place for you. You will go through a lot of different subject matter when it comes to forensic science, but anyone is welcome to take forensic science. It's a great way to get science credit. Actually have people on their feet doing something that has real world applications. It's not talking about theory of too much, it's talking about something that happens real world. We send DNA in for samples. We have people go and analyze crime scenes. So everything that they're doing is real life things that are happening right this moment all across Johnson County, all across the country. Hey Eli, do you want to go for a run? Not really. Okay, well I'm sure Shane Mullen does. Oh, it's a lot different this year because last year we had like majority seniors and our top four guys were all seniors. And then uh, this year it's basically all like freshmen and sophomores and I'm the only junior on the distance team. So it's like a pretty big uh, step up from where I was last year. And I was the slowest guy in the track team last year and now I'm the fastest on the distance team. Yeah. Try to set a good example for everyone else, try to be a role model. I think our culture at Northwest and our like uh, cross country teams history really helps with motivation along with us just being there every day keeping uh, people accountable for their action or holding people accountable for their like uh, participation like coming to practice. I mean this year we only had one senior and one junior score for the team uh, and we still made it to the state which only 12 teams get to go with all the 6A schools and now that we have like basically everyone returning Everyone's going to improve and get a lot better, so I think we could be a lot better next year. Although cross country, you mainly uh, like are part of a team. 
you score points for a team. So during cross country, we do a lot more mileage and a lot less uh, speed work on the track compared to track where we do less mileage and more like intensity on the track. It feels like good to know that my hard work has paid off because I haven't always been like the fastest guy. I kind of just got there from working hard and running more mileage. Hopefully I can get some PRs and go to state this year. That's the goal. We have the best basketball team. Heck yeah, we do. Do you know how far Shelby Sogard can throw the javelin? No, but I'm sure it's farther than us. Uh, I started throwing last year around track season and I haven't regretted it. Uh, I've been doing private lessons. Any chance I got, I tried to come out to the field and like throw. And yeah, it's been like an effort, but I'm really excited. My official PR is 108.8 feet, but I went out and measured a couple days ago and I got 120.5 feet, so I'm expecting big things for this season. I really want to go make it to state. That's a bit, pretty big goal, and I also want to make it to at least uh, 130 feet, so yeah. It's just, it's also like it's a really weird event. You know, when I like grow up and I have kids, like I'm going to tell them, hey, in high school I did something really cool you should too. And like, I like telling my friends about it and saying, hey, I do this. And they're like, wow, that's so cool. And so I try to get other people involved in it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Eli Laurent. And I'm Lexi Barkowski. Tune in next week for more Cougar, Cougar Roundup. Roundup.